hey Lou, good to see you again. We're over here on 75. What's you up to today? Oh, uh, we're just headed up to the Wildwood Truck Show and ready for this weekend. Are you going to drop that machine off before you get to the show, or is that going to be part of the show also? No, this machine was custom wrapped for the Wounded Warriors project, and uh, we're going to bring it up to the truck show and show it off this weekend. Well, that's a good looking wrap there. Well, that's cool that you get to transport it up there and uh, it's even better that they gave it to you to uh, bring up to the show so other people can look at it and appreciate it. I'm sure there's going to be some veterans that would uh, enjoy seeing that too. Absolutely, yeah. It was quite an honor to get to go ahead to pick it up and take it with me. Just in case for those folks that didn't see the other video where I interviewed you uh, and also your dad, uh, give me the rundown on your truck there. It's uh, 2006. Peterbilt 379 extended hook. It's got a Caterpillar C15 550 twin turbo Acer motor, 18 speed, full locking differentials. 10 for what you got for a rear? It's got 388. The trailer is a 2012 Fontaine Magnitude hydraulic detach, 55 ton, non ground bearing. Explain that for the folks that they don't know what that is. The trailer has a 55 ton load capacity. Uh, this trailer is measured in a 12 foot load center, uh, which makes it extremely heavy duty. And uh, this trailer is non-ground bearing, which means it picks up off the tractor. You don't need to, it doesn't need to be on firm ground to pick up the trailers. Some trailers use a hydraulic ram that pushes down off the pavement to pick it up and run it into a this one wedges against itself in the tractor to pick it up to flat height. Some low boys and some trailers have their own wet lines, their own wet kits, or, uh, or a pony motor. Uh, explain uh, the difference between that and what you have on your truck. Uh, some low boys have a pony motor, which is a Honda. It's got a Honda motor on it or any gas-powered motor that drives a hydraulic pump to auxiliary power the hydraulics on the trailer. However, in my case, it's run off a PTO uh, power takeoff from the tractor. The transmission has a hydraulic pump on it, and uh, when I engage the PTO switch and pull the lever, uh, it powers the hydraulics to the trailer to operate it. Well, I appreciate your explaining that. But what do you have it permitted at? My permit's at 147,000 on seven axles. Well, what regions of Florida do you run the most? I would say 75% of my work is from my primarily in the Orlando area. However, I do venture out to Tampa and Jacksonville and Daytona on a regular basis. And uh, go down south probably a few times a month. Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach area. 10 four. For the folks that uh, aren't familiar with carrying an oversized and overweight, uh, what are some of the do's and don'ts with carrying a machine like you're carrying right now? Oh, you don't want to move too fast. You want to come in and out of lanes easy. Want to watch ahead of you. Want to watch for people working on the sides of the road. Cars broke down on the shoulders. Lanes that merge when it goes to three lanes down to two. Uh, and just all that kind of stuff. You want to take a lot of stuff into consideration. Well, a truck in combination and a uh, load like that, what do you think you're grossing today? Typically, this machine will weigh around 88,000 with the bucket on it. However, the bucket's not off it and uh, doesn't have much fuel in it. So I'm guessing she's around 80,000 pounds uh, and the truck's weighing in at 46. So we'll, we'll probably just a hair under 130, somewhere in there. Well, that Wildwood scale is coming up there pretty soon. We'll slide into there and uh, I'm sure they'll give you a good old uh, certification on that weight, right? Oh, yeah, always.
ask you, uh, in your opinion, with uh, you may have to go into the scale houses quite often. How do you think the, the current Florida scale houses uh, operate, and uh, what would be your suggestion if you felt there could be some improvement? The uh, Florida scale houses seem to operate pretty well. Uh, the scale house in Tampa seems to always be working pretty hard. But um, as a broad spectrum from the state, they do a good job. The rest area is always clean. They you seem to get you in and out of there. Um, even if you're in violation, they're not trying to hold you up, they know you got a job to do. Um, but they take a lot of stuff into consideration when you come through there. They, they realize you're just out here doing a job like everybody else. 